Ladies and gents, welcome to uh, an enclosed game, 1v1. We got 560 ELO for both players. In the blue, we have Sandoval Bastion 2002 playing as the Spanish. And then in the red, we have the Duke of Weaseltown. <laughs> uh, so Duke of Weaseltown playing as the Japanese. Pretty flexible civilization overall. I think a civilization that a lot of people... Enjoy it, this ELO, and should take advantage of. The cheap mills, cheap lumber camps, cheap mining camps, and strong infantry can be very strong. Uh, and then the Spanish. This is a civilization that seems to get a little bit better as the game goes on. I'd say they're one of the best late-game civilizations. Could be really solid with things like castle drops and conquistadors, but I think they're a little underrated as well because they have really cheap trash units uh, and fully upgraded trash units as well. Uh, the... Tricky thing about this map is you cannot wall this little stone terrain. And so full walling your base is not possible. And then beyond that stone terrain is where the stone and the gold is. So you can be uh, really safe around your TC with your food and wood. But then you venture into the darkness and you're exposed. Okay, so apparently Red's name is a reference from a movie that I didn't see, right? What movie, chat? Or what show? Because apparently I mispronounced it. Anyone know? Might be like, T90, how did you not see this movie? Oh, it's Frozen. <laughs> I know the song from Frozen. Somehow. Okay, I actually never watched Frozen. I am familiar with Frozen. I know it's very popular. And yes, I may be uncultured. And here comes uh, the Duke. So it's Duke of Wessel Wesselton? It's not Weasel Town. I'm not... No, I'm not singing Frozen. I want people to stay here. There's one guy probably named Jethro. <laughs> I don't know why I went with Jethro. And he's fallen asleep watching the stream today. And uh, if I were to start singing, he would wake up. I don't want to disturb his nap. So I would say strategies for this map, that could be pretty good. Would probably be, uh, you know, any standard feudal age strategy could work out pretty well. Could maybe see scouts, could maybe see archers. Either one's an option. It's notable that the Duke found these buffalo, has not run away with the buffalo, and then the Duke had buffalo chilling over here. And Sandoval said, thank you very much. Sandoval's going to steal the buffalo. But yeah, I, um, I don't know if I'll ever watch Frozen. Do you guys think I should? Do you guys think I'm missing out having not watched Frozen? I don't know. I heard it's, like, I guess, like, solid enough. But I don't know if it's, like... I don't know if the occasion is going to arise where Frozen would be the movie that is the one that's suggested. I should watch it just to understand the references. But I'm perfectly fine not understanding the references. <laughs> I think maybe that would be a movie I would watch if I'm with my like niece or nephew, right? It's it's a it's a good movie for kids, so. Well, the only thing I can really point out so far is that it bothers me that Red hasn't moved these buffalo. But beyond that, it's been a pretty solid dark age for both of them. 500 ELO. We've done that a couple times today. Normally it's not very aggressive in feudal age. So they're just trying to balance out their economies. Eventually, they may chop towards each other and build towers and castles there. It's always a fun aspect of this map. But Blue is going for the super stealthy buffalo move. Set the waypoint on the edge of the map. Okay, real quick, before it happens, will he go directly to the corner? Yes or no? I'm going to go with no. Because I already saw them moving. Sorry. The game was ruined. I should have asked earlier. I should have asked earlier. If you said yes, you're not very observant. Because you should have already seen it was coming off the edge of the map. I forget what movie my viewers recommended that I watch recently. Um, I, I believe it was the name of a Loey the Legend name. It was the one on Enclosed where someone played Persians and Castle Dropped with Elephants. And it was apparently... I think it was I Drink Your Milkshakes. That one, right? 
I think the name was I Drink Your Milkshakes, and people said it was from a movie. The movie was Let There Be Blood. Okay, or There Will Be Blood. I see, I downloaded that for the plane, but I didn't end up watching it on my way to Spain. I, I've been trying to watch The Sopranos, and that's the only thing I watched on my travels, so. I think I'm like one season away from finishing The Sopranos now. Uh, and it's, I'm, I'm really glad I, I got around to committing to it. But yeah, movies, huh? Movies? I don't know if you guys want me to talk movies. I feel like there's a lot of movies you guys like that it probably wouldn't like. Um, trying to think of movies that I watched recently that were really good. It's tough for me, that. Tough for me, man. A movie I watched recently that was really good. Why? <sighs> can't think of any that were actually like super recent that were that blew me away i would say the new deadpool was better than i expected it was really solid i enjoyed the new deadpool i did watch that in theaters i like i like the first deadpool were there two before that i forget the new one was way better than i expected because you kind of know what you're getting from a deadpool movie i thought it was pretty solid so um man red move the buffalo like, what's going to happen to the buffalo? Why are the buffalo bothering me so much? It's really bothering me. Blue, can you please take these? Red doesn't deserve to have them. It's just triggering me. Ah! <laughs> he just missed them. <laughs> okay, well, the scout will make it there eventually. Have you watched the Chernobyl series? That's on my list. I haven't watched it yet. Um, I also want to watch the... Um, I hear there's a series which is really good. And I, I think it's like... What is it? It's, it's like Low Elo Legends or something? I think that's what it is. I might need to double check what the name is. But I hear that's just phenomenal. Like, I hear that series will blow your mind. And you should definitely like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Right? I got like two laughs out of 2,000 people. <laughs> We'll just edit that out of the video. <laughs> no one thought it was funny. That's embarrassing. Okay. Uh, we got a stable. We got an archer range. So red's going to build up those buildings. Still not on gold. So not really in a position to make a lot of archers yet. Probably just trying to make it to Castle Age. Thank God blue finally finds the buffaloes. Again, I have weird hangups. I don't know why that was bothering me so much, but it was. Blue is on gold a little bit. And again, seemingly planning on making it to Castle Age. It's nice with the Spanish. I I wasn't initially a big fan of the bonus when they added it. Because um, I thought the Spanish were kind of fine. But these days, with the way balance is, there's a lot of bonuses at play. For all civilizations. So they, I think last year at some point, the Spanish receive a little bit of gold when they complete a tech. So, you know, getting Bosol and Wheelbarrow and um, Horse Collar gives you a little boost of gold. I think it's nice. Coffeine Kofi in chat says, I wonder if Zero Elo exists. Uh, it does exist. And I have some videos. Um, there was a player named McLean who we encountered at Zero Elo. Last I checked, McLean stopped playing the game, unfortunately. But I did see him rise up to 19 Elo. So he went from 0 to 19, which is a pretty big jump percentage-wise. But I haven't seen McLean play in a while. I haven't checked his profile in a month or two, though. But he, like... Mc, like, how many people here saw the McLean game with the Cannon Galleons on Valley? <laughs> dude! <laughs> dude! If you guys haven't seen it, <laughs> that game was nuts. He had like 20 vils, an imp, okay? 20 vils, an imp, but he stonewalled the middle on valley and had cannon galleons there. And the uh, opponent had eco and all this army, but the walls and the cannon galleons were keeping him out. It was crazy. So then that was his thing is he would just go Spanish cannon galleons every time. I'm pretty certain he went that whole game without a lumber camp too, like, McLean is a freaking legend. All right, market blacksmith. We got another stable here. Blue's making a couple scouts, but red already made some defensive spears. 
I really like the thinking here from Red. And Red also made scouts to attack, so you could use the spears to defend and then scouts to attack, maybe. Might see a bit of feudal age action here. How can I find that video? I think that's probably the Legend of McLean. If that one wasn't the Legend video for McLean, then maybe I had it wrong. But it was... Um, yeah, the, the, the guy was really unique. It, for a while there, every single week, we'd show up and he'd always be playing and we'd want, be wondering if he could win a game. And he did win some. There's a lot of players who play pretty consistently that are at lower ranks, by the way. You'd be surprised. You think 100 elo barely plays? You have to play a lot to get down there. And it's probably the same for these two as well at 500 elo. Now here comes Red. We haven't had any real bloodshed in the game. And Red's got scouts as well. And Blue's on the way to Castle Age faster, but Red's got more army on the field. And Red's going to wander up to Blue's gold mine and say hello in the friendliest way he knows. Which is literally just standing next to it and staring at it. Okay. Well, okay, now Red's now Red's here and now Blue is leaving. It was all it was all a trick. <laughs> Blue didn't know there was gonna be an attack. Red was simply waiting until Blue left. And two Vils killed. Nice play from Red. Now can he run away or does he just lose the army? I think running away would be ideal. But pff, who's got time for fleeing? Only cowards flee. And so two villagers killed from the scouts. And now you have to hope to defend from Blue's army. There are four spearmen from Japanese around the map, though. What's up, Johan? Welcome. Someone says, why is Blue's house on fire? Blue's house? <gasps> it is on fire. Well, I think someone forgot to turn their oven off. And they left the house. And no one has been back yet. No one has realized. So... Very realistic game we have here. House fires do happen. I'm not sure how it's not burning more, but uh, something to pay attention to here. Scout Micro, let's see. What do you got, Blue? What do you got? You want that revenge. I know it. I know it. Look at how much Blue is clicking right now. Oh, he misclicked. He clicked the mining camp. Ah, we've all been there, Blue. <laughs> I love you could see Blue's units reposition ever so slightly because he kept cl he kept uh, clicking a lot there. That's a lot of spears. This is a great game plan with Japanese. Little scout rush, little attack, and now lots of defensive spearmen against Cav is super strong. Blue does have a, another plan though. Let's see what the multitasking looks like because Blue's scout rushing and adding the TC. And Blue wants that revenge. Oh, man. I see this so frequently at low elo where people just kind of toss in units hoping because they don't want to focus on it anymore. Like, that was because Blue said, I don't have the multitasking to scout micro and boom. So I'm just going to get rid of them. <laughs> I would suggest maybe you click this scout somewhere else, you know, and just come back to them later. Also, someone here in Twitch chat has bet their their Twitch points on blue. And after that fight, Zoom out idiot asked, can I please cash out? <laughs> you cannot cash out your, your points. No, you're committed. Sorry. Well, that is a very interesting path for this villager. So villager walking encounters one of the buffaloes, sees the other buffalo and says, I'll take that. But what's the plan? Blue's 3TC. Unfortunately, doesn't have enough stone for a castle right now, but that's about to change. Blue, don't drop this castle with one vil. Actually, hold on. This is Loey the Legends. I take it back. Blue, please drop this castle with one vil. Please. Oh, God. He's being attacked at home. He really needs a defensive castle. There's, there's archers and there's pikemen here even. This is tough. Red's even going to make cav archers. Red's being really aggressive. Blue does have the TC, though. It's unlikely that Red will notice this. But Blue rings the town bell. Oh, God, guys. Use the emote. 
Please use the emote. All the villagers here went idle as well. Oh, now these villagers are going back. He's probably going to ring the bell again. Ding ding incoming. Because the units went back underneath the TC. Ding ding incoming. Okay, now I'd prefer you ring the bell. Okay, so no bell. No bell. This is what I like. And uh, red gets a couple kills there and blue mops it up. What is the plan? What is the plan for this villager? Where are you going, sir? The natural play here would be probably a defensive castle right on this hill, right at home. But natural for who? Natural for a normal player, not for Sandoval Sebastian. He's going to drop a castle in the north. It's Spanish villagers, guys. So he's building 33% faster, or 30% faster. So sneak castle in the north. Now, red has seen very little from blue. He's probably not going to expect any conquistador. Oh, <gasps> what? <laughs> red <laughs> just so happens to be sending a random vill to mine gold there. Okay, well, he's, we might find out. The villager could actually kill the other... Oh, there's two villagers. Oh, shoot. That's crazy timing. Okay, well, meanwhile, blue is very little defense. Blue is going to try and defend with knights. Which could work. He's got decent enough upgrades. Cav archers are micro-intensive. You've got to be kidding. I can't tell if red is unlucky or lucky right now. Is red going to notice this? No way! Red actually notices... Because there's a freaking lizard attacking him. So he looks up here. And then he's like, wait a second. That's not a lizard. That No! No! Blue! What are you doing? The whole strategy's ruined. So he deletes the castle and deletes the game. He's out of there. Ah! <laughs> you were still... <laughs> You you were still fine, man. <laughs> you were still okay. You could have just brought some army and a couple more of <laughs> Oh, man. If that's not Loey the Legends, I don't know what is. You do something which is maybe a little bit out of the box. And then when it doesn't work out, you just prefer to start a new game instead of actually trying to adapt to the current situation. <laughs> That, that's so funny. That is an amazing rage quit. He, he collected just as many resources. You know, maybe if this castle went up, it changes the game, but Red just got lucky. Now, what I'm wondering is would Red have actually noticed that without this lizard? Because watch this, right? What I'm thinking normally happens is Red has sent those villagers to the gold and he never looks there, ever. Because, like, you know, he's looking here, he's looking at his economy, and then he's going to notice that this goes up when the castle's up. But I think what happens is there's the attack noise. And he thinks, where am I being attacked? And he goes to look at it. And then when he goes to deal with that, he notices it. Now, you know, another thing, actually. Blue's villager is standing on top of the mining camp foundation. I can't really make the noise, but there's like a duh. There's like a noise when you can't build a building because something is blocking it. So it could have been the lizard and it could have been the little building canceled noise where he looked up here, noticed, and then, you know, it ends the game. But man, that was funny. Someone in chat just said maybe Blue had to win the game before 30 minutes. Dude, if Blue had somewhere to be, he would have dropped the castle with 10 villagers at home and made conquistadors. <laughs> I don't think the guy who walks a villager lonely to the north of the map to build a castle with one villager has somewhere to be. I just think that was the strategy, and unfortunately for him, it didn't work out. Look how close the game was. It was actually a really close game, but what a funny finish. Man, Blue was really fast when he did something in this game.